Let's discuss today putting your house on the market for sale. And I'm going to discuss one of the most important things that uh, is needed when you are going to sell your house. And this has changed over the last few years because the way people search for houses has changed. No longer does somebody go into a realtor's office and look through this big book that has all the listings in it. You pick out the addresses that you want to see and you drive around from house to house. Today, search begins on the internet. And if the search begins on the internet, one of the most important things is your quality of your pictures. And let me tell you, I see a few realtors out there and I just don't get it. For instance, the first picture should be a picture showing the front of the house or one of the very best features of the house, which is usually a front picture. You don't need six or seven pictures going around the house because, you know, people kind of get what the house is about. You might have two pictures of the house on the outside to start with. Then move indoors, move in right away and have the next picture. The next picture typically should be the kitchen area. Your kitchen area is one of the most important, uh, one of the most important features of a house because usually mama's in the kitchen. And if mama doesn't have a kitchen that she likes, mama's not going to be happy. And you've heard the saying, if mama's not happy, ain't nobody happy in the house. So one of the most important things is make sure the woman of the house is very, very happy. And that's supplying her with a very good kitchen because she's usually going to be in there taking care of her family. And I don't mean to be stereotyping or anything, but it might not be the mother. It might be the husband. It, who knows who it's going to be. But that is one of the most utilized places of the house is the kitchen. You want to have a nice kitchen that is free flowing. The next thing what should you do is move around the house in an order so somebody can get a feel for the house. Walk them in the front door. Show them the foyer. If there's a foyer, show them the living room. Then move to the bedrooms. Move to the basement. Half baths? Are you kidding me? How many people really enjoy looking at a toilet? Nobody likes looking at a toilet. So if you can, keep them out of the pictures. Usually, I won't even put in a picture of a half bath unless it's a very, very nice half bath. Then a few pictures outside. Why? Because people do want to enjoy the yard. Do you have a nice deck? Do you have a large yard? What do you have in the yard that's going to make it enjoyable to live at this house? The next thing is, make sure your pictures are clear. Let's not have the family dog in them. Let's not have kids. In fact, I've seen some realtors out there, they are taking close-up pictures of flowers in the yard. Tell me, if you're online looking at a house, do you really care that there is a daffodil in the side yard? I've seen pictures. The first picture is just the door. No other part of the house, just the door. Why not just take a picture of the door now? Any more questions on listing your home, getting it ready to sell? Visit my website, myrealtordave.com, and go to the page for home selling tips. You can reach me at 810-347-5354 or send me an email, Dave in Fenton at gmail.com. Again, Dave Broadworth with Tremaine Real Living Real Estate. Enjoy your day.